Welcome back. I'm a Persian woman. But beyond being Persian originally, I'm a woman living on this planet. I'm a citizen of the United States. But beyond being a citizen of this country or another country, beyond the borders, I'm a citizen of the Earth. I'm talking as all of us, as a part of all of us, as a conscience that needs to talk and come out at this time. I talked about a revolution that we need on this planet to change things, and changing them for good this time. I want to go deeper into that, to really rise in that place of what is a revolution and what do I mean by that. I want to call it an evolutionary revolution. This is time for humanity on this planet to rise upon the impulses of evolution that is within all of us. This is a multi-central universe. Every single being that is, is the center of the universe. That's a huge concept to take on. Every one of us are the center of the universe. This is a holographic universe. No one has more power than anyone else. And each one of us have the power of the entire universe. That reminds me of the Rumi poetry within which he says, I'm not just a drop in an ocean. I am the entire ocean in a drop. That's the type of revolution and evolution that I'm inviting all of us to come to. 150 million years ago, planet Earth separated from the sun. It took millions of years for humanity to become who we are. That force is within all of us and it wants to express itself. And this is the time in our story that we can actually bring a shift to the whole mentality that is happening on Earth. It's time for every single one of us to know that whatever is happening on Earth is 100% our responsibility. We have chosen people for all the governments, the whole world, that think they're the only ones that can make the decisions. Most of the decisions of our time in all of our societies, doesn't matter where it is, it's happening with a handful of men sitting behind closed doors, making vital and important decisions for all of us. All the wars that are happening all over the globe all the genocide. Everything that is happening in the, in the way of violence is created because of a deep, deep, deep separation from the source. At this time, we have chosen globally to be separated from the source. Source being the source of the universe, that is within all of us, the source of the 
evolution that is within all of us that wants us to live at a much higher standard on, on this planet. The matrix, the controlling matrix, has penetrated our minds and our hearts to a point that almost all of us have all these subconscious pictures that say we are disempowered, we are victims, we can't do anything about any of this. This has been always the case. Humanity is violent. Wars always are going to be. The end of time and the vision of apocalypse is reflected in almost all the movies that are made by the system and by the matrix. Our children are exposed to tons of violence. Even the best of us, when you open the subconscious, you will see all the programming that has been happening since the beginning of agricultural era, the beginning of patriarchy, the beginning of religious control that has separated us from nature. Us as earth beings have the power. And this revolution is about us rising to that power. It's about higher capacity. I was just reading this quote that said, a fool will take a knife and stab other people on their backs. But a wise person will take a knife and cut the cord and free themselves from whatever that's not right. At this time, humanity needs to release itself from the cords, the subconscious cords that are holding all of us as slaves, as victims, and a global consciousness that has allowed us to choose people and allow people that don't have the best vision for our lives to rule us. We have to recognize at this time that the revolution is a psychic and a mental revolution. For every single drop of darkness, we need to bring tremendous amount of light. We are the star children, we are destined to a better story and a better future. If all of us get together and think that way, meaning we see a different outcome, a different outcome, not apocalypse, not the whole world bombed into a nothing, not just a few of us making it to Mars because they have all the, the jets and everything or, or satellites and all the technology that they can get them there. It's about us living on this planet in integrity, taking care of our children, going beyond all races, all sexes, for women to come back from the deep, deep, deep sleep that they have been in and let go with their submission. For them to rise up to work in partnership with men. The men who are lonely and sad and in fear because they don't have a strong female partner, mother, daughter, to guide them and hold them and love them. This is time for love, true love, true respect. I invite you to redefine revolution with me. 100 monkey phenomenon, 
it will just take a portion of humanity to give into the same vision. The destructive matrix is organized. It's planning all of its moves. We are not against anything. We are for a better future, a better life on Earth. And we're going to bring that consciousness into the center of our beings so strongly, so strongly, connecting it to the center of the Earth and believing in it together and don't allow any other ideas to come in and penetrate it. This whole life on Earth is a mental construct. We need to shift our minds. Once our minds are clear, exactly what we want, the solution starts there. Everything will change. Everything will change. We are destined for a better life. We have to believe that. We have to take it into ourselves, into every single gene, reprogram ourselves, and throw out all the garbage, all the garbage, all the darkness, all the thoughts that says, I have no power, I'm nobody. It's already happening. There's nothing we can do, so what? It will go into, the whole world will go into an explosion, so what? Carelessness. We have the power to care. We have the power to love. Welcome to the evolutionary revolution. Thank you.